Good morning, folks. It's 7.42 a.m. Friday, July 22nd. 7.42. That's 247. That's understanding fortitude and uh, something related to spiritual here. It's what I'm saying. What I'm seeing is understanding with fortitude spiritual knowledge it, it's pursuing that uh, that goal um, the date itself is a strong message um, let's see what was it um, Friday July 22nd 2016 that's 2016 that's 6102. Uh, the intuitive self completion of understanding. That's 2016. Okay? The intuitive or metaphysical self completing its understanding, which is the understanding of, of learning, become, gaining wisdom, becoming aware of who they are. That's the new 2012, the, the real one. And then uh, July 22nd, 22 is strong. Uh, harmony and understanding and 7 uh, July that's uh, the seventh month which is again spiritual of spiritual knowledge spirituality what is spirit it's religion it's God no it's none of that crap um, it's spirit sentient energy it's simple um, and then Friday is the uh, actually the fifth day of the uh, uh, week Saturday is six, and then uh, Sunday is uh, zero. And that that then creation's numerology. That's how it is. So anyway, there's my herky on that phone. So uh, let's take just a second and see what's going on. What is it? Uh, why is it that I talk so much about spirit and the other side? Well, that way Jay can talk about something and never be wrong and uh, say nice things and get people's attention and make money and be happy like I want to be. Uh, some people have that attitude, um, whatever. Uh, I do talk about things in the physical world a lot, okay? Um, but because I see and feel everything going on, I don't mean every little thing at one time, the human brain cannot contend, uh, cannot contend with that kind of input. It can't. It can't comprehend like that. Okay? But when I need something, I can go to it and access it unless something's messing with me. And then I have to stop, get rid of it, clear it, kill it. Um, uh, lots of times it's like the part of Lily working on my head like she is right now. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, push her away. If something's real, if something is really important for you, I'm gonna go get it. Okay. Um, I usually have it right there. It all, like I said, it all depends on how much I'm getting hounded. People, nobody has to believe any of this. Um, you're gonna, you put in a body. You're gonna, it's gonna die. You're gonna come out. Okay. Those are the two certainties of having a life. The more you become awake and aware of, of who you are, the more you awaken to the awareness of what else is out there. You know, you find out more about yourself, uh, other things that are out there, how you relate with them, how they relate with you, etc., etc. So, why doesn't Jay talk more about the stock market? When is it going to crash? When, when, when? Everyone's still stuck on this future being a permanent thing. It's not. The future is made by very powerful source energy that literally changes its mind. And right now, there's chaos on the other side. So, as was seen with this archangel, this piece of this archangel Raphael, as I understand, is no more. I won't know for a fact until I get out of my body. So, um, attacking a little girl. I'm, she's not a little girl. 
um, excuse me, sweetie, I won't say your name on uh, video, but I know you're um, a precious young lady, but you know what I mean. Um, this family is so cool. Uh, folks, you never know how much uh, the combined energy of Arrow and Lily actually love everything. The original first being male and female were never a mother and father. Lily and Arrow feel like that. Although it's more like a your oldest brother and oldest sister. But with compassion and loving compassion and honor. Um, an incredible fortitude, but like of, of as if uh, they were acting parents, that's all. Um, but why don't I talk about the stock market then? Well, I look at the stock market because I'm awake. I can look at the stock market, see who runs it. I just look at it. I see it happening. I flow through it, and I follow it, and I see right where it goes. It's not Anunnaki running it. Casinos. Everyone's going to make money gambling. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to do the lottery. I'm going to be rich. Um, yeah. Someone else got rich. Yeah. One person out of 100 million or 800 million. Okay. Uh, not very good odds. Gambling exists because it's going to make money. So therefore, in a third dimension type of thought process, I understand it's not worth bothering with whatsoever. Some stay away from number one. Number two, I see who controls it, what's going on. I see it's a controlled thing. I can see where the money goes. It feeds the uh, poor little uh, reptilian fund here on this planet. So, organized crime, all kinds of stupid stuff. So, uh, good reason is not to bother with it, but I can see into it and see what's going on. So why should I waste time on it? And then you get everyone all excited and all hyped up what happens. Your DNA twists all up and then your immune system starts shutting down. Uh, your abilities are brought down to what? Anywhere from uh, 1 to 10% depending on, you know, if you really get freaked. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, why don't I talk about all the bombings and everything going on? Um, actually, I do mention them, but I just do it in short. Uh, it's sad. It's sick. I speak out against it, and I let it go. I understand what's happening, and I actually, when I bring it up, I explain it to you. <coughs> This, as energy, this is who did what to who. Or, nobody did anything and they did this on their own. I can look at that, see what happened and why. That doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean I don't care. <coughs> it does mean that I understand why things happen. Okay? I understand exactly why things happen. It's sick. It's wrong. Um, because I understand that, it's easier for me to deal with what's happening in regard to it, um, in regard to all the crazy things here. Folks, creation was made wrong. That's not a broad category I just throw stuff at and put it in there. Oh, I don't understand this. Everything's wrong. No, you don't go there. You have to look at everything individually. How can you make a good uh, decision, a good judgment? about something, about how you feel about something, about the worth of something as far as um, uh, helping someone or, you know, not helping someone, you know, hurting something. So, that's why I talk so much about the metaphysical, because the physical world, sorry folks, it's a part of the metaphysical world. Lily, honey, damn. They've been working on my head real hard for months. Um, the incident with this little piece of Raphael, that was not a problem. Um, he got cranked up with some source energy to help him out. 
They knew I'd come help out my friends in Australia. <laughs> but that's all cleared up. She just keeps changing things in a uh, conscious, more conscious mind part of my head, the left hand side of my head, our heads. That's usually where it's more conscious though, which is usually more uh, of the body energy, the uh, planet's body energy. You know, the body, your personal body energy, uh, it originally came from Gaia. Gaia released it, and then they started going to bodies having lives. They're going to become uh, one of the new fields of energy. I'm saying too much about stuff coming as doesn't need to come out yet. Anyway, um, and sometimes it looks like I'm picking through stuff, folks. I am. I'm, you know, I'm trying to hard to tell. I'm trying hard to tell you as much as I can about everything that's relative to what I know is important to you. And it's hard for me to do this through this brain. I was never stupid. I was always excelled in school. Like I've said before, when I was getting ready to start my junior year in uh, high school, um, it was during the summer, and uh, um, the guidance counselor, when we moved down here, <coughs> talked to her, and she said, look, uh, uh, you could actually take junior and senior English over the summer and just go to college and study junior year in high school. And I said, no, thank you. I was in no rush to get to college. Never wanted to go. Um, it's good to pursue developing your brain, whether you want to go to college, whether you want to go to the library, where college courses are there for you for pretty much next to free. Okay? Um, if people want an education, they can get it there. Once they know that, then they're responsible for the fact that they can do that. They have no right to cry about their education. There are some people that have it very, very hard. And that's a different story. There's so much stuff that's wrong. But anyway, uh, when you see stuff on the other side, and then you see what's happening over here and you see who does what, then you have an understanding of what's going on. Folks, that's what this whole awakening is about. That's why I'm here. Well, that's why I came here. Is to deal with this. One of the three tasks I had here in this life, I put on myself, was to help you all become aware of what really exists everywhere. When you do, not only is it easier to understand what's going on in your daily life, what about when you meet our new friends from space and they're, they have all these different crazy bodies as far as our conscious mind thinks right now, we would think it's crazy. Wow, that thing would look more like an elephant than anything else, you know? That thing was a huge spider, ant, whatever. I mean, folks, the thing is, you've had lives in those bodies too. And the more awake you are, you can go back and see that. You can feel that. You can look inside them. You can feel them. You know we're family. That's why I deal with this. Becoming awake and aware, becoming yourself is the one truth that you have. That once you do it for yourself, nobody can take that from you. That can destroy your body, torture you, run you over with a truck but they can't take that. They can't take your honor either. And having honor doesn't mean you've never done anything wrong. What honor is, is once you became aware of something, you stuck with it. You know, you made any changes you need to make in yourself, and you keep doing that, and you, you don't go backwards and become something, that, you know, wrong, something detrimental to others. Aggressively abusive towards something else. Saying something and doing everything you can to back it up. Hey, Herky, honey, you okay, buddy? Go ahead, lay down, honey. Oh, I love you, Herky. So, the other side, the second dimension, runs everything except the first dimension. The first dimension is left alone, it's protected. 
Bayara, nothing can get in there. Nothing. Everything's kept out. It's where new beings just come into being. Okay, it's happenstance. No telling what's going to happen. There's no intelligence over there. There's just energy fields floating around. So. <clears throat> It's funny, I just saw something else in there. Anyway, um, it's almost like a garden where things could grow, but there's nothing, you know, plants ascension. But anyway, uh, the more you see, the more you understand, the more you realize that that dimension runs this, that it runs your lives then you understand more about what's going on in your life. Sorry folks, that's important. Okay? That's very important. You need to know what's going on in your life, what affects you, what affects the decisions you think you're making in your head. People are not controlled like puppets, but they can be. It's important for everyone to understand what's going on, who they are, what happens and why. Once again, I'm going to tell you, that's why I wrote the books. It's important for you all to understand who you are, what you can do, and that you're doing a lot of these things right now, you don't even know it, and you blow it off. So many of you see stuff, it's like, oh, that's funny, for a minute I thought I saw something. Folks, you did did they used to put us in psych wards so here put them on uh, um, I can't remember the name of that stuff uh, Thorazine or something um, I don't know something from a TV show a long time ago um, but it turns out it was a drug that they used to really dumb down your brain keep you from flowing and uh, when they do that, well, you, you quit seeing things, but you also shuffle your, you know, drag your feet when you walk, and it's like drooling out of the side of your mouth sometimes actually do. You better cut down his Thorazine, his shirt's soaking wet. Seriously. That's how you keep someone from hearing voices. A lot of people hearing voices go nuts. Um, when I was coming out of working on cars, um... Shortly after my burn accident, um, I got doused with, uh, uh, miraculously doused with uh, a, a gas tank full of gas and uh, lit on fire. Freak work accident. Yeah, like that wasn't controlled. Uh, it burned me to a crisp. I burned, <clears throat> I burned 60% of my body. 30% was real bad. Second and third degree burns. The other 30% was strong um, first degree burns. I worked at this one place, and this guy was hearing this ringing in his ears real hard. And he's guy that owned the shop. These folks had a lot of money, very strong Christian. He spent thousands of dollars trying to get rid of the ringing in his ears. The doctor said, hey man, we can't find nothing wrong with you. Um, his ears were being adjusted so he could hear and get some truth for a change. Um, good, because he was a jerk. <laughs> he took a lot of money from a lot of people. He had a real cocky attitude about other people, against other people. So many people think they're Christian or religious person of any other religion that they're better than other people. That's the first thing they start thinking. Then that they have a, they build in their own mind a reason why it's okay to take other people's money, steal from them. I didn't steal from them. I, this is what I charge to do what I do. They come here. It's God's will. Yeah, right. Okay. I was so cheap when I had my shops that other shops 
when their mechanics couldn't figure it out in an hour or two, they just put it on a tow truck and sent it to me. And then they actually asked me for a discount, a couple of them did, and I said, you're kidding me, right? I said, I'm so cheap, I can't afford to, you know, give anyone a discount. You're so expensive, because I know your rates, that I just charge you what I charge you, my normal rate, and you, you know, double it or whatever. That's how you charge. So no, I'm not going to give you a penny off. I didn't want to charge people, I had to. I was never a good businessman. But folks, when you understand what's going on the other side, just like this gentleman spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to get rid of his quote-unquote tendonitis, if he knew that his spirit guides were literally working on his ears to try and, you know, talk to him, try and help him out, then he wouldn't have spent that money. He wouldn't have been freaking out all over the place. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I'm being attacked by the devil. He wouldn't have been freaking out. He would have understood, and then he would have dealt with it and moved right on. He would have woke up. If you think the other side doesn't affect, if you think the second dimension and everything over there doesn't affect this dimension, you are grossly and sadly mistaken. I would tell someone like that is to enhance your life, to become who you are, you have to wake up. You don't have to wake up, but to really have a life and move forward, you're going to have to wake up. You're going to have to realize what's going on. So, no one likes to hear they have to do anything, and I relate to that big time. So, the only time I say that at other people, and in some kind of totalitarian way, is you have to stop beating on that animal or person or whatever. Men hitting women, kids, beating animals. You want to see crazy? <laughs> I don't lose it. I'm very exact and to the point, and I get it handled. Anyway, um, enough aggressive talk. That's not. I don't want to go there. What I'm trying to do is uh, give you some information to think about for a while about how it's important understand what's going on on the other side. It runs this side. It's like a horse moving through the water, through a, through a pond, and it makes ripples. Okay? A horse <coughs> is uh, wading body deep through the lake, and it makes ripples. And then a bunch of little people looking at the ripples saying, oh, what's this? What's this? What kind of, why is this? Why, why is that? They don't look at the horse. They're looking at the waves in the water. And they're freaking out. Excuse me. You see, it doesn't get you anywhere. When you understand who you are, you move forward fast. You move forward strong. You're calmer. When you don't understand what's going on, if someone's poking you, and you can't see them, that'll get a lot of people scared. Okay? Paul, I love this thing. Thanks. Um, oh, and uh, uh, Shana and Don, uh, Donald, uh, thanks a lot for the uh, for that uh, package you sent me from Hawaii, man. I appreciate the heck out of it. That coffee is awesome. Um, I've got another uh, two days of consults, and then I'll be getting all these other packages out. I'm trying to get them all ready to ship off and get a couple of videos out to, so I have something to leave behind. Um, folks, to understand the picture, you need to see the whole picture, don't you? If you're watching a soccer game, or football game don't you need to look at the whole field I mean for the most part no there's two goals and everything not just focus on you know a certain area or regular American football 
you not if you just stare at the 35 to 45 uh, yard lines on one of the sides, you're not going to get too far. You know, you're going to miss the big stuff. Um, you're not going to understand the game if you never see it. If you don't see the field go goal or the goalie net, you'll never know what happened. You just hear shouting, screaming. That's why I do this. This is what's important to you right now. My job is and always has been to serve, to do what needs to be done where it's needed the most, to do what is most needed to happen. I'm simple people. And I'm not a threat to anything that's not threatening anything else. It's time for things to change. So, and things are nutty on the other side right now. Now's a good time to be able to look at it and see it and understand what's going on. And then you see the chaos on the other side, you see the chaos over here. You can make the direct link to it and see well, who's doing what, what's happening, and you say, damn, what a mess. White Tiger Lily um, will be driving Lily's body before long. I don't know, I don't have a time on that, I, I can't see, and actually there is none. Uh, if I wasn't stuck in this damn body, I could do a hell of a lot to help it. If she was out right now, we wouldn't be having these problems. But she still needs Sarah next to her. Lily's strong. All of them are very strong. But Iris, the other half, he's, he's necessary for a reason. He's the thing that takes that big hammer and just pounds that damn cement table that represents the old uh, uh, format for creation. He's the one that protects Lily and everything else. When Lily's together, she doesn't need protection. The only thing stronger than Lily when she's whole is Ara. The gig with me is just what I am inside, not this body. Is it's Ara's primary focal point, and just I just kept staying in there and growing, growing, growing. The more fortitude you have, the easier it is to do that. Just like animals, compassion and fortitude. All the abuse they've gone through and they're not insane, it's because of their fortitude. The, the way for you to get the most out of your life, the way for you to understand more and have a better life, a fuller life, easier to deal with, understand, more enjoyable, is going to be by waking up, becoming aware. And all the stuff I tell you about later on, you know, I'll be gone like I should be, and you all hear it, and then you start seeing it for yourself. That's the, necess the necessity of those books. You'll start seeing those beings, not these made-up names and figures and stuff people talk about. And then you'll know that it was true. Then you'll have a little more faith in the books. And then it'll be easier for you to start understanding what's out there. So as you see it, you have a basic name for it when you all talk to each other. There it is. It was about putting the movement together. It was about killing the stuff on the other side that needed to die. It was about leaving you the information that you needed to move forward for yourselves. Folks, it's about to get a whole lot better. It's going to get crazy for a while, too, though.
people are going to semi freak out when they start seeing uh, huge reptilian uh, humanoids. You know, when I say huge, they're, you know, just say about eight, seven, eight foot tall, but they're 800 pounds. <laughs> But if something's on the other side, your spirit guides, and honestly, it's going to be source energy on the other side helping you relax and deal with it, allowing you to feel the feelings, but helping you stay calm. That's what a loving big brother and sister would do for you, okay? Those of you alive right now and your children, You'll understand the way it was and the way it's about to be and how much better it was. It doesn't matter who did what. It does matter that you become aware, you see it, and you understand it. That's what this is about. It's all about y'all. But y'all includes plants, people, flowers, trees, animals, everything. Well, <clears throat> that's why I deal so much with metaphysical because creation is mostly metaphysical. But I also touch in a lot of physical things too. I would love if I didn't have to do all this fighting and stuff and my body my energy could be calmer then I could actually walk around on a few ships have some fun there's one there's two of them actually I'd really love to be well three of them I guess the uh, the Antid mothership that's here the um, Drock mothership that's here and uh, the Anunnaki ambassador I wish I could physically, you know, shake his hand, give him a slap on his back that he wouldn't even feel. <laughs> that man is awesome. He has so much compassion, such a strong heart. He's a hell of a warrior, but he's got heart. Isn't that what a good warrior needs? To know to protect, but not go crazy with it? If all warriors had that, then you wouldn't have mercenaries who are happy to kill, maim butchering children their mothers sisters brothers wow those guys are really men they all need to be thrown down a what do you call it defi de defibrillator you know just ground up and cut up into pieces <sighs> like a giant garbage disposal with very sharp blades well, folks, love you. Hope today's a good one. And uh, that's why I spend so much time with that. I want you to have everything that I know you need that can help you. I want you to be happy. I want you to be peaceful. I want you to be able to have a nice life and relax. <coughs> Excuse me. So does Lily. She's just, I got a lot of love, folks, but she's got more. She's incredible. All the parts of her. That's what's going to happen. The change is just going to get a little nutty, so just hang in there. There's no end of the world. There's no kind of silly stuff like that. There's been a whole lot less chemtrails hanging around. That was a little fly just buzzing around. Um, when it's actually something, I'll tell you about it. But, you know, I don't want you to think I'm looking at something that's other than what it is. Anyway, uh, um, there's been a whole lot less chemtrails. Ever since 
two days before, excuse me, told you about that drug ship getting here, and actually about a week before that, it was less chemtrails. Yes, slow down. Let me tell you something. When three or four drop cruisers come into a um, solar system, that solar system is on alert. When a drop mothership comes in, folks, this is there's this, this is a situation right now that has never been equaled as far as power in this solar system. Never, never has there been power here like there is right now. Never. Um, the Anunnaki run on this planet. Uh, let's just say they're messing their britches, okay? That's kind of where they are. Uh, it's important to me that you understand who you really are and you can appreciate yourself. I don't matter, I just am always will be that's a, you know here's here's some food for uh, um, those that want to call me arrogant um, if something is it is and that's all there is to it um, uh, I walk around in the dark and everything else I fear nothing folks I know what I am there's nothing that can destroy what I really am and I'm not afraid of this body dying at all looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to handing in the keys to my lease vehicle. But what's inside me is the strongest thing there is. And it's always going to be out there protecting. Not, you know... I come to some of y'all sometimes as a man in overalls when I'm trying to help you out. That's just some of my energy outside of the body. Folks, I'm not... I'm splintered in everything else. Okay? And stuck in this body. And I'm no better than a blade of grass don't want to be. That's the whole purpose. Everything is equal. But let me ask you something. It, is it really difficult to understand that if I can go in your brain, uh, this little fly is just coming in and out. It's got little this energy on it controlling it. It's the simplest thing in the world. Anyway, um, uh, the guy's being funny the guy riding it. Anyway, controlling it. Um, uh, it was a little fake guy. Anyway, uh, uh, when I started proving that I can go into people's brains when I did it so much, so many times for a few years now, that's a statement. And then there's others here who can do it now. Okay? Uh, Paul and Berju do it um, and we'll be doing it soon Deanna is already doing it um, uh, Luke and Blair are going to do it soon um, all kinds of good stuff folks there's a bunch of you here that are doing it um, Stephanie out in Australia she's strong she's a powerhouse um, it started with one person doing this but folks, it's going to turn into a hundred of them. There will be no religion. There will be no philosophy. What school of thought is that? It's the university of you. That's all it is. It's like, let me help you become awake and aware and see things for yourself. Where's the philosophy? There is none. Where's the religion? Ugh, I can't even stand that word. Religion says praise here. Give away your equality here. No. It's your time, folks. It's creation's time. And it took a long time to get here. So, if I need to apologize for something, I need to apologize for that. Change is coming, change is here. Okay? You want to find yourself 
you have to go inside yourself because guess what there you are I mean think about it is that simple yes simple as an old man in overalls folks I love you man it's time to come alive folks but until you can open up open yourself up flow inside yourself and relax to just let yourself go is what it is if you flow inside yourself you relax and just let it all flow then there you go you do that enough you're talking with your spirit guides once, once you've done that folks you're awake you are a quote unquote enlightened don't let other people tell you otherwise they don't know what they're talking about anyway um, when you can see things, you see for yourself. Not what I said, not what someone else said, you see for yourself. And then when you can see something for yourself and it matches what someone else said, then just the way you're seeing it, they saw it too. So enough people see the same thing, what happens? You come together as family. That's why those books are there. Because I, I describe the different spirit beings, basically what they look like when you see them. Their characteristics, when you see and feel them, you're going to find out those books are true. Okay? I didn't do research for other books, get a little here, a little there, and make something that sounded good. Um, it's a man named David that does that, that's really starting to annoy me. Um, but uh, I see it. And write it down and the more of you understand that see it then everybody will be on the same page and be able to talk about you know that but when I say the same page when you'll start seeing something you see the same thing and it's got a basic name you say well I call it this because it's like that you know you have to have a way to communicate family communicating that's what the books are all about book one twenty four ninety nine um, you can go to the spiritual foundation dot com uh, it's on Amazon.com and all too. Um, those of you that haven't been to thespiritualfoundation.com, uh, that's the Ennis website. It's um, for the family. Um, she really did a beautiful job. Uh, she's source and she's more animal essence and other stuff. She makes beautiful um, uh, jewelry. Okay. Um, this isn't a stuff that's going to sell for $150,000. It's not supposed to. It's very nice. She does very good work. She's got a, like a graphic uh, design engineer uh, mind, but she's an artist too. And she's very powerful. All of you have incredible power inside you. A lot of you use it all day long. And yet, when it comes to trying to say you have it, you deny it. You deny yourself. You've been made to be that way. I'm on making that as much as I can. But you have to get the key in the ignition and turn it. That car being you, your real life that's waiting on you, it won't go until you put the key in there. You have to become engaged. And it's not hard. Relax. Float down inside yourself, open up and be ready to feel and hear whatever comes in. Just open the mind, the heart, the gut feeling. Open yourself up and just listen. Nothing can come in and attack you, get inside you, okay? So. Love you folks, man. I promise this time I'm going. <laughs> um, I too talk on and on. Um, this is important to me because I know it has such value to you. Love you, folks. Have a good one.